Jet Travel and Cruise prides itself in quality of service and customer satisfaction. With over 80 years of combined experience in the travel industry, you can be assured you'll be in capable hands. Romaine Ferdinand is a proud owner of this award-winning office and the Serendip Sri Lankan Woman Entrepreneur of the Year for two consecutive years. Jet Travel and Cruise is specialised in cruising and travel packages all over the world, including the paradise of Sri Lanka. For competitive rates, contact Jet Travel and Cruise for all your travel needs on 95853800. The segment that promotes Sri Lankan culture, diversity, nature and heritage is proudly sponsored by Prestige Wardrobe and Shower Screens. We bring you a special segment to promote Sri Lanka. A special thank you to Sandra and Estrick Jackson for providing us with this segment. The first part of the procession or the Perahara is dedicated to the sacred tooth relic and more relevant to Buddhism. And this part is called Dalada Perahara followed by processions or Perahara's of the four Hindu temples dedicated to God Natha, God Vishnu, God Skanda and Goddess Patini. The complete procession will take approximately three and a half hours. We recommend that this is a must-see event and probably the biggest cultural festival in Asia. The first performers to be seen in the procession are whip crackers. They lead the way and announce the approach of the Perahara by cracking their whips. There is an art in this and it is not as easy as you may imagine. They are followed by fireball acrobats. Next. The flag bearers with the national flag and the Buddhist flag in front followed by various regional and district flags indicating the religious significance of this pageant. Sri Lanka invites and Ushma is having a harmony day on the 8th of April at the Mulgrave Community Hall. To talk about that event, it's with great pleasure I'd like to introduce Larry Marshall in our studios this morning. Good morning and welcome to our program. Good morning, Derek. It's so nice to be here. Uh, Larry, first of all, will you be able to tell me uh, what's Ushma? Is that, a, is that an organization? Yes, it is. Sri Lanka invites as a group of Sri Lankans of all faiths and ethnicities. And USMA is the United Sri Lankan Muslim Association of Australia, and they've partnered with this group that formed to run Harmony Day. And this is our fourth annual Harmony Day. Okay. Now, briefly, will you be able to tell me about the Harmony Day? What are you having? Well, the idea is to bring all of us together, all of us who are Sri Lankan. So ethnicities, so Tamil, Sinhalese, Muslim, and all the faiths, the Hindu, Muslim, Christian, and yeah. Buddhist together. The idea being that in the past, the Sri Lankans in Melbourne, there's about 45,000 of us. We celebrate lots of things, yeah. but a little bit separately. And after a big war that we've been through, we need to come together to reconcile, to build peace, to build back our relationships. So that was the impetus for this. So we've got some great things on show. Can I tell you about those? Yes, but uh, something which I'm interested to ask you, uh, on the flyer, it says free concert and dinner. Well, we realize that Sri Lankans are very canny people and they <laughs> like something that's good but also free. Yeah. yeah, We've got a bit of funding from the Uniting Church. Yeah. I'm a program manager in Interfaith at the yeah. Uniting Church, so they've funded a little bit of it. Yeah. And then we've raised funds from the community to run this. So it's a free concert sure. and it's using the Concord Choir, yeah. which people might have seen recently yeah. performing in, Mel in Melbourne. Um, and it's also got Bharat Natyam dance yes. and Kandyan dance. Right. It's got children's performance and it's also got auction. It's got baila. The auction is interesting because we've yeah. got a bat, 
a cricket bat yes. signed by the winning Sri Lankan team that just came to Gee. Australia and beat the Tr Australians. Oh my God. So that, that is yeah. worth a little bit, we're hoping. Yeah, definitely. Which will recoup us some of the money yeah. for the dinner for and the concert. Yeah, that's a very good concept. As you said, now for the last four years you've been running this. Uh, how about the other previous years? How has it gone? Yeah. Well, the first year we won the community uh, uh, event from uh, the best community event from Serendib newspapers yes. and Monash Community Council. Yeah. Monash Council. Yeah. It was our first year. We were very nervous, but yes. we got about three hundred people there. Yeah. Had a game of cricket, yeah. which was multi-faith yeah. and multi-ethnic teams, right. okay. and then the concert. Yeah. So a little choir formed, about yeah. twenty people. Yes. And they sing in Sinhalese. They sing in Tamil. They sing in English. And they don't sing religious songs, they sing the songs we know. Yeah. And they and the second and third year the numbers built up yes. from two fifty to three hundred. Yeah. Last year we had nearly four hundred and fifty okay. people. We were thrilled. Okay. So we sang the national anthem in Sinhalese yeah. and Tamil. There were tears in the audience. And uh, one of our patrons is the former governor of Victoria, yeah. David de Kretz. Okay. So he came last year, and this year the High Commissioner is coming from Canberra, Brilliant. and he'll say a few words as well. Okay. And Mr. Prasanna, who's the Consul General in Melbourne, he's coming as well. So we've got these baila sessions where everyone can set free. We've got some painting of henna on oh, hands. Yeah, yeah. We've got lots of NGOs that work in the community, non-government organisations, which are supporting Sri Lanka activities in Melbourne and Sri Lanka, building bridges. And uh, they'll be talking a little about their work. So it should be a wonderful day. And what time is this event starting? Well, we're starting in the afternoon. Okay. Uh, if people can arrive about 3, the concert begins at 3.30. Yes. Run for about an hour and a half, mm. and a bit of baila, and a yeah. bit of a break. Right. And then dinner at 6. Oh, that's brilliant. Uh, I mean, you told me last year you had 400, but I will guarantee with this lineup and with the whole production, you're getting a lot more than out. I don't know, according to me, the, <laughs> the, the publicity. Well, with your help, <laughs> it should be. This uh, is a very, very, very well-known program. We'll, be, we'll be looking around. You'll be looking around for at least a minimum of 1,000. Oh, my gosh. And uh, I really wish you all the best, Larry, you know, for, uh, because you're doing something, as uh, she said before, it's a free concert and a free dinner, and uh, it's held at the Mulgrave Community Hall. April 8th. April, April 8th. 8th. Yeah. It's just a couple of Saturdays away. Yeah. Thank you, Derek, yeah. for having no, me on. Anyway, and thanks uh, for coming. So yeah. keep that date free. That's the 8th of April at the Mulgrave Community Hall. As I said before, it's a free concert, f uh, including free dinner. Biryani. Biryani, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you there. <laughs>
So the next thing I'm going to add some onion. Doing this is going to make a nice paste. This is much easier for me to rub this on around the salmon. Okay, now my mix of ginger, garlic, mint and onion goes on top of that. There you go. You can see I got all the ingredients there. It's very rough. You know why? I, I chopped the onion last. So we have nice little pieces of onion. When you cook, it looks as beautiful colors. This chili pad has peanut inside. What, what that does is, that gives you a beautiful flavor. Peanut and chili sauce, it just have peanut oil with chilies inside and peanut pieces. So then you can see the peanut. If you don't like the peanut, you can take it away. But it's really, really nice taste because it's in peanut oil so it's very tasty so my last item goes into this one is brown sugar i want to put some brown sugar in here like that because the reason why it's going to give you that beautiful caramelized look and caramelized flavor to it so like so so i'm going to leave the fish with a bit of uh, crust for maybe about 15 20 minutes not too long so we need to have the fish flavor inside the fish and outside nice crusty beautiful flavor to go with so now pan is hot it's time to cook. So the piece of fish like that, beautiful. And I'm gonna put this upside down first. So I have to turn it upside down now. Because the skin can cook a little longer. Skin can be crispy, but you cannot cook the top side too long. Because what happened? It's going to be burnt and taste is not going to be nice. It's fish end of the day. That's why I put a nice crust to get the heat through. But from the bottom, it'll cook. The skin can be really, really crispy. So as you can see, now it's really ready and all cooked right through. So I'm going to take it out. It's all cooked right through now. You can feel, you know, the, the crispy bottom is all ready now. So I'm going to put this away and let's cook the rest of the dish so my fish is done now i'm gonna put it on rest and now i'm gonna finish up with a little bit of garnish to go underneath so here i have um, hot oil with a bean shoot bean shoot my red capsicum i'm using a little bit of dry shallots and a bit of fish sauce a bit of soy sauce don't cook too long. Just a little bit of bread to serve this fish. So that's all the ingredients ready now. So last thing is the prawns. So I'm going to put it on just to give you a nice color. That's all. A few prawns like that to go on top of the fish. Already cooked prawns but just need to color it. So now I'm going to place the fish. Then my prawns. As you can see, it's not too hard. Please have your ingredients ready so it's much easier to finish up. So that's all for the day. We'll see you again with a new recipe next week. Bye for now. Auru the Tabulu Paula Kabalanka Bate and the Fly Sri Lanka with the Vishisha Divanava. Obalaba Kanda Sam Vadi to go and ticket Padega Kataba. Auru the Dekat Adu Lama go and ticket Pata Probile. Adabu, it does to see I don't see Panastamia Hatsi at the Hadravatan.